Okay. These are the orthotics. Um, the idea with these is they're a little bit bigger and wider than they will, they'll need for your shoe. Okay. But what you're going to do is trim it with scissors and get it to fit the shape of your shoe. And so there's the arch fill. This is called a heel cap. We've put a little bit of a wedge underneath yours to lift up the inside of your heel. That's a breathable material so that it, um, you, at night when you're not wearing them, they're going to dry out and this will grip when they're wet. So even when there's a little bit of moisture in your shoe, you're not going to be sliding around on the orthotic. Um, and this is just a bottom cover to make sure that it doesn't wear out if you get sand or rocks in your shoes. It's going to protect the cushion on the other side. Okay. Yeah, this here, this material is called a heel cap. It's designed to grip the inside of your shoe. So you're going to take those out. Okay. And then this is a slippery material. That is grippy. So what it does is it, it, uh, it grabs and then it won't slip or slide. It's okay. stuck in there. Cool. So usually what you'll do is you'll take this, put it over top, and then you want to make sure it's the same size as the shoe underneath. If this was, if this was wider, then we would just cut the excess away. Okay. So that it fits the orthotic. Um, this looks like it's going to fit perfectly and it fit inside the shoe perfectly. Okay. Now, once it's in the shoe, you don't want it to be sitting tilted. You need it to sit flat. So you have to kind of check the shoe and make sure that the orthotic is sitting perfectly flat and that it's not tilted one way or the other. Okay. And, uh, and then the next step is we'll have you try them on and just uh, have you walk around in them and see how you feel. Okay. Um, first thing we do though is I want to check the orthotic and see if it's correcting your pronation okay. while you're standing. So we're going to put it underneath your foot while you're standing. I'm going to have you balance on it and we're going to do some testing. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do today is we just want to, they just came in. Okay. Um, first thing we're going to do is just have you stand on them okay. and do a little bit of a, a half squat balance test just to make sure that they're actually supporting your arch better than when you are when you don't have them under your feet. And then the next step is when we fit them, make sure that they're going to fit inside of your shoes. And then we'll talk a little bit about how you kind of break them in and allow your body to adapt to them over time. Because you don't want to put these in and wear them full time right away. You're, 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 we need to give your, your soft tissues, your bones, your ligaments, all a chance to adapt to the new shape. Kind of like when you buy a new pair of shoes, if you wear them too much, if you get sore, you need to kind of wear them slowly and break them in until your body gets used to it. Because it also changes the way your knees are moving, it's gonna change the way your hip, your low back. So we wanna protect all those things by giving the body a chance to adapt and recover, adapt and recover, adapt and recover. And eventually after a week or two, you can start to wear them full time. So first thing we're gonna do, have you stand on that one. Bring those up a bit. So let's get your heel right on top of it. Okay, good. Now, uh, balance on your right leg. So lift your left leg up, okay. And then what I want you to do is just do a little bit of a quarter squat, okay? Good, hold it there, and then come back up again, okay? Now I want you to do the same thing, but with just beside the orthotic without the orthotic on. So, so, now, so we, now, yeah, so like this. do the same thing, balance on your right leg, do a bit of a quarter squat. Yeah, okay, that's good. So. With the orthotic on, let's step back onto it. You've got a lot more support. I can tell. Yeah. You're, you're, you're more unstable without it, but the most important thing is that your talus, which is sticking out right here, is dropping less into the ground. Now, after you wear these for about a month, we're gonna do a checkup. That's usually the amount of time it takes for your body to adapt to them and to get over any soreness or aching that you can have when you first start wearing them. At that time, we're gonna recheck and sometimes we add bore correction or make adaptations at that time. We have three months to make any changes we want at no extra charge from the, the manufacturer. So we do the checkup after a month when your body's used to it. Make sure that they're comfortable for you. There's nothing that's bothering you. And more importantly, make sure that they're actually correcting you. If there's any, any other modifications we need to make, we make those at that time. The idea is to get the orthotic perfect so that it's good for a couple years. And every two years, you really should get a new orthotic, depending on your activity level. Some people, you know, might be every year. If you're a marathoner, other people can get away with a couple years. Okay. Um, so let's do the other side now. Okay. okay. So let's go on this one. Get that one out of the way. Oh, sure. 
I had to roll up my sleeve. Good. Put your foot on there. All right. Okay. Now, same idea. Just balance on your left foot. If you need to use the wall, you can. And good. A little bit of a. Okay. Good. Now come on back up. Now let's do it without the orthotic. So we do got to do some work on balance for you. We need to do some work on strengthening up your hips because you do have a bit of a weakness that I can see that's coming from the hip. And then back up again. Okay, good. Now back onto it one more time. Let's move your foot a little further forward. Okay. Move your heel over this way a bit more. There you go. Now when it's in the shoe, you don't have to worry about this. It's your foot will fit on top of it perfectly when it's oh, in the shoe. It's so much better. Yeah, okay. So these, there's a lot of correction in these because you have a very flat foot. Okay. You you will feel like you've got a bunch of pressure underneath the arch of your foot. I feel that, yeah. And it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable if you were to wear this too often right away. So what we're gonna do is the first day you wear it an hour or until it hurts, if it hurts, and then take it out. Second day, two hours, until it hurts, if it hurts, but if it, don't go more than two hours. Three, third day, three hours, fourth day, four hours, fifth day, five hours, and you basically build up. Once you're wearing them seven, eight hours a day, you can start wearing them full time. Um, and then that breaks them in. They're a little stiff right now. They're gonna soften up a little bit. These are semi-rigids. We don't want rigid orthotics. Rigid orthotics are like wearing a cast. Your muscles will atrophy and weaken, and you become more dependent on them. We want something that's semi-rigid, so it gives and it flexes, just like your natural foot should do. These are semi-rigid. They give and they flex. This arch fill is so that it never totally wears out. It'll always provide support, even five, six years from now, although you should still renew them and get fresh ones every two years. They'll always provide some support. But after a month, they've broken in a little bit, and then we want to recheck it to make sure it's still correcting you. If it's not correcting you or it's softened up a little too much, and we just send it back, get it modified, get it correct, and then you're good. But it's really important to make that checkup. The checkups are always free uh, for two years with orthotics. These are warranted for two years. If anything cracks or breaks other than the top covers, but if the actual module itself cracks or breaks, I've never seen it happen in 20 years, they'll replace it 100% uh, covered. There's a 45 day money back guarantee. So within 45 days from the day we ordered them, if you don't like them, 100% money back and modifications free so after for 90 days so if after up to 90 days any changes we make there's no charge on that so which is another reason i like this company yeah um and um yeah so we'll in a month we'll do a checkup we'll make sure they're still working we're going to see if it's supporting as well as it is today or does it need more support how did your foot adapt if your foot adapted well and we could put more support in we might send it back put a little more support have you wear it again for another month take another look at it still cool. within our 90 day period cool. so all right awesome Important. and uh yeah any issues come in and we can always work it out if your feet are getting sore on the bottom of your feet you can roll on a golf ball you can kind of roll on a, on a, a pizza roller okay. something that you can roll your feet on that's obviously not glass and not going to cut your feet but something you can roll on to massage your feet on or you can come in and i can work them out for you and uh, that sometimes helps your body adapt a little quicker to the orthotic Okay. But most people, if they kind of gradually break them in, don't really have too many problems. Sweet. All right.